Sabum. Basically. It's been a bit of a mission. So, I had an eight hour flight in from Kenya. And then from there, I came from Heathrow to Gatwick to catch this flight to Amsterdam. So I'm going back to Dan, mate, oh, literally. Oh, mate, Kenya was such a long story. Such a long story. But, um, no, yeah, I ended up getting fucking, well, not really deported, but like, yeah, for a fucking blazing. <laughs> Literally, so um, yeah, my trip was cut short. Like literally, officially, like it wasn't an official thing, so I can easily go back there. But it's just a case of like, yeah, it was just well annoying. Like, it's just so annoying. And I've met this girl as well. Like literally, and like, yeah, you know how I feel about relationships already. So, but this time was like, I don't know. It's just different. Like it's just really different. So yeah, fucking, I was getting all friendly and close with her and then they're like, fucking, you're getting deported. I was like, oh, fuck. But um, no, yeah, I'm going to Dam, just chill out, relax, have a good time. And yeah, there's the outside of the plane, flying with EasyJet. I flew with British Airways this morning. I'm so tired, actually so tired. Like the flight was pretty chilled, like, it was pretty smooth, but yeah. Fucking this leg room maybe cramped up on a plane, but luckily there's no one sitting next to me. And when I was going back home, when I was coming back to Heathrow, there was no one sitting next to me either. So yeah, it's all good. It's all good. But I just wanted to give you an update. Like I said, it was pretty long. Like the police rocked up on me. It's kind of a setup though because like the police were the ones that sold me draw, and then they like they like grasped me up. They like done a report and all of this. La 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 la. And it was just like, well, why would you do that? Like, I don't get it. Like, why would you do that? I'm like, fuck, yeah, anyway. I'm just going to damn chill out, relax. And yeah, I'm so glad to be going back. Like, literally so glad to be going back. Yeah, I don't think you uh, fully appreciate it. But uh, I'm just sort of appreciating it now. I've also got a new phone. I've got a new phone and yeah but it's all good but like I said eight hours and then fuck it this is only like I don't know like a 40 minute flight 50 minute flight it's not long like literally it's not long it takes longer to go through the airport than it does to fly there <laughs> you're on the tarmac for like 15 minutes like literally I've got such a long airport but never mind it's all good I said it was well peak, like it was so peak because I met this girl and then I had to go home. Like she had to come back to England and it's like oh it was so shit. Like literally so shit. But I'm going again. Like literally I'm going again but I just won't be going attached to anyone. I'll just be going by myself. Which will be a lot easier because if anything goes wrong it's just me that gets into trouble. It's no one else that gets into trouble. So yeah, everyone's been like fucking getting grilled because obviously I was blazing and they was like, oh, who was giving out the weed? Rah, 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 rah. It's like, oh, come on, mate, chill out. Well, like, literally, the amount of shit that goes on there and they're fucking worried about weed, like, literally. Anyway, I must look like a fucking nut job, mate, like, literally. But it's all good. Like, it's all good. <clears throat> but uh, hopefully, in fact, when I get off the plane, I'll be able to record. Oh, mate, go to a fucking EU country and a free country, like literally fully free. Like, no fucking people getting sketchy because you're filming, like literally. Do you know how many people like nearly shot me because I was filming, like literally? <laughs> like, you just can't film there. People just get so scared. Like literally, they get so scared. Like, what are you doing? Why have you got a camera? It's like, calm down. Like, calm down. I don't like to be that annoying guy that just goes around filming everything. But like, the odd snap, like the odd picture is all right. Like, come on. Like, come on now. <sighs> I 
I had chicken and rice on the last flight. Chicken, rice and vegetables. It was actually quite nice compared to the other stuff they gave us on the flight. I normally don't like plain food, but um, I had myself a meal deal from uh, WA Smiths. Because they ain't giving you food on this flight, you got to pay for it. And am I fuck plain, paying for plain food, mate? Like, literally. But yeah, it's all good. It is all good. <coughs> Hope you're on good vibes, you're staying blessed. Life is treating you well. Life is treating me well. Apart from this fucking separation from me and this girl, mate. Like, literally. I'm feeling pretty, uh, pretty soppy about it. But never mind. It is what it is. And yeah. <coughs> Anyway, I will continue on when we start moving because we ain't doing shit now. So yeah, stay blessed for now. We're about to take off. They're getting ready. Look at them wings, man. Brace, brace for it. We're going through the old safety demonstration as well. And yeah, it's not full plane. It's not too bad. In Dutch. Oh, Bereid u aan om deze te alle tijden vast te hebben. Indien er problemen zijn met de luchttoevoer, zullen de maskers boven u naar beneden komen. Neem het masker naar u toe om de zuurstoftoevoer te starten. Doe het masker over uw neus en mond. Maak het koord vast en trek aan de zijde om het te verstellen. Doe uw eigen masker om voordat u anderen helpt. Demonstreren. Indien we landen op water, pak dan het reddingsvest op onder uw stoel. They don't invest in our safety as much. <laughs> oh, where's the demonstration? <laughs> oh, mate, I'm so happy. I'm so sad, but I'm so happy at the same time. I literally have mixed emotions. It's been such an emotional 24 hours. It's like so emotional. But yeah. There's a lamp and a flight on to the aandacht to trekken. We hebben ook reddingsvesten for kinderen aan boord. But yeah, the trip from Dam to England is only like 40 minutes, so yeah, it's not too far. Very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on board this EasyJet flight to Amsterdam. Oh, yay! Also to extend a special welcome to our EasyJet Plus card holders. One hour, five minutes. Benefit from becoming a card holder, oh, there he is. My name is Joe, I'm your cabin manager on today's short flight. Uh, we've got a great team. Working alongside me at the front today, we have Pedro and in the centre of the cabin, that's Adrian and Elise. And we are here primarily for your safety, but also your comfort. Anything you need to talk, please just tell us. Well, it's, uh, I don't know who that is. The rescue helicopter or the air Ladies ambulance? We now ask for your attention. The safety procedures on this aircraft. Okay. A safety guard is in your seat pocket Curious. showing the exit routes, oxygen masks, life jackets, and brace positions that you must He's adopt. Is Gatwick? Brace, brace. There are two emergency exits at the rear, four in the middle, and two at the front of the cabin. Floor lighting will guide you to an exit. Please be aware that your nearest exit may be behind you. Anyway, in stay an emergency. Now.
just proper emotional so yeah I can't explain like right now but yeah I have got quite a bit of explaining to do and lots of things to tell you but yeah here we go oh no yeah I think we're gonna go on that side where that plane is everything I've said and I'm, like, I'm not really sorry because I feel happy but yeah at the same time it's like what a dickhead <laughs> I literally what a dickhead excited but then at the same time because of what's happened like yeah it's kind of been like peak so this trip is just like a cheer me up trip <laughs> where I know I'm gonna get an unlimited supply of weed and yeah trip 
I do want to go back because I, obviously I want to see this girl, but or my girl even. <laughs> but yeah, I literally we'll see. I literally will see. But as I said, yeah. I wanted to make a video fresh last night, but I just couldn't. I was too upset and I wanted to live in the moment and spend time that I had with her. So yeah, I didn't want to waste it making a video about some cunts, like literally some knobheads. Broke up our happiness, mate. <laughs> But it's all good. It's all good. TZP is rocking it. TZP is a lone wolf, mate. He, didn't, he don't need no one. Like, this is a lone wolf. He's got his Mary Jane and that's it. And yeah. Every time I think we're going to take off, we don't. I literally. Like it doesn't look that big, but it is a pretty big plane. I literally. And then that goes up in the sky. Incredible. There you go. Soft. Aviation never fails to amaze me. was on the move, I promise, I thought it was taking off, but yeah, clearly not. Alright, well, stay blessed for now, until we actually do take off. Couple planes behind. 
behind us as well, waiting to taxi, coming into taxi, waiting to take off. Here goes there's one taking off. We're next by the looks of it, I don't think there's anyone in front of us. We've got us, Thomas Cook, and then you've got a BA. Oh, stopping again. Waiting for the go ahead. I don't mind, you're not going to get any complaints from me about planes being late. You do what you need to do. A like real talk. <laughs> Everyone that complains when a plane is late, it's like, I ain't bothering, mate. Fix whatever you need to fix. Check whatever you need to check. I do not want to fall out of the sky. <laughs> hey. Niet is toegestaan. Dit geldt ook voor elektronische sigaretten. 
That's it. I'm just trying to get some sleep. And uh, yeah. Stay blessed for now. Just like that. I'm getting ready to land. I was just getting ready to nod off. Literally. I was literally getting ready to nod off. Dames and heren, so dadelijk gaan we landen. Kunt u er nu voor zorgen dat uw handbagage veilig is opgeborgen met daarin uw laptops. Uw tafeltje moet nu worden ingeklapt, uw armleuning naar beneden en uw raamluik omhoog. U denkt nu in uw stoel te blijven zitten. Zullen we dat winnen van? Niet past, klaar voor de landing. Kunt u ons alstublieft helpen door al uw afval, kranten en tijdschriften die niet mee wilt nemen in te geven? The ocean is just so vast. such a wicked view
wetlands over there.
just open. But literally that thing was just open. Thank fuck we've landed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Amsterdam. Local time here is an hour ahead of the UK. It's just after 10 to 5. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened until the signs have been switched off. Oh, yeah. All portable electronic devices for messaging, calls or internet access may now be used. However, any laptops must remain safely stowed away. Please make right. sure you take all Stay your personal away with you today. <laughs> what can I say? I see I'm here. Seat. Literally, I'm here. Stay blessed for now. Do take care though. Renault. Been fucking still at the airport, mate. Going down to get my bags, and yeah, I literally, it's all good. I literally, it's all good. It is all good. Oh, mate, and it's just so good to be able to film freely. So, I literally, just film my trip, but yeah, anyway. It's chilled. I'm gonna look for. Uh, I may have walked past it actually, where you get the baggage. There's some fish there. Fish tank baggage reclaim. I think I'm gonna walk past it. Baggage reclaim. Yeah. Hold on. I may need to walk back. Stand by. So boom. At the train station, mate. Fucking directly got uh, got my ticket, got everything I needed straight away, knew where I was going, everything. Like literally, got my travel card so I can just get on and off buses and that. And yeah, there's a train there. Double decker, mate. And yeah, I'm going to Amsterdam Central. And yeah, I think they're calling just to get it ready. But yeah, I'm not sure. There's a guy looking at me well weird. Thinks I'm a nut job. I don't think people vlog here that often. So yeah, you get that a lot. But at least I can vlog, like literally. I've missed filming, like just chatting as I'm as I'm walking, like literally. I've missed it so much. Because uh, in Kenya I couldn't, like literally I couldn't. Like people were scared of cameras, like literally, they're really terrified. So yeah. Anyway. It's all good, like literally it's all good. Back in the West. <laughs> All modern, neat, nice, working. Staff charge you the right price. They don't overcharge me because I'm English because everyone's foreign here and they're all rich. So I'm considered poor again. <laughs> and yeah, literally. It's all good. Like, it's all chilled. But I'm going to find my accommodation and see where it all is. Uh, it's in the city centre, so that's good. I'm going to get myself a shower and then after that I'll go out, get some draw and yeah, have a blaze up. I literally have a blaze up. Anyway, that is all. And stay blessed for now. Oi, oi. Mans is here. Mans is back. <laughs> so literally, oh, I'm so happy. Like literally, so, so happy. And it feels good to be able to film. And no one's gonna rob me, because I'm a nobody. It's kind of good to be a nobody, but then sometimes I like being a somebody. But yeah, it is good to just be able to just blend in a crowd. And obviously people notice that you're recording, but that's it, they're just like, oh, there's a guy recording. And that's it, because they've seen cameras before. <laughs> it's when I was in Kenya. Bare people are just like, oh, what's that, what's that, what's that? Oh, what's that, what's that? And it's like, oh, come on. But no, yeah, like I said, yeah, people watch, but yeah, that's it. They don't, they don't actually do anything. Like you're not gonna get robbed. Like, yeah. But it's all chilled. I'm gonna head to the uh, the old bill. I'm gonna head to the city centre and uh, yeah, take it from there. I could get myself a bike this time. I literally, I. Uh, I could, but I've got myself public transport instead because I like the tram. I literally I like the tram. So yeah, it's all good. I literally it is all good. <clears throat> hey.
Everyone's on their bikes, mate. Like, literally. Back once again with everyone on their bike. But yeah, it's all good. Like, I'm so pleased to be here. And yeah. <clears throat> so basically, you're probably wondering what happened in Kenya. So basically, I was chilling and I was with an organisation. And basically, that organisation was just like... Um, it was like a charity that would go out and they would help people in like the slums, the projects, all that sort of stuff. However, like it was quite restrictive because like I couldn't film, I couldn't record, I couldn't do this, couldn't say that, couldn't do that, la 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 la. So I felt, so I was like, oh. And then also like I couldn't go out without anybody else. And like, yeah, it was just really strict. So it was just like, I found it kind of difficult. So I was like, hmm, I kind of want to leave here and like just, just go off and do my own thing. But the situation was the visa says that, I that stated I have to be in, uh, I have to be in, what do you call it? I have to stay there, like, I have to stay at that particular residence. I won't say the name, but yeah, it says I have to stay in that particular residence. So therefore, that's why I had to, I had to be there. But literally, and now I've got to try and fucking cross. I've got to literally try and cross with all these bikes. I don't think it's going to happen. But yeah, either way, there was that situation. And then uh, because of that, I was kind of just like, oh, I want to go. Like, I want to just do my own thing. I want to see Kenya as a country. And I just wasn't able to do that. So basically, I I'd managed to get draw. Like the whole time I was there, I was managing to pick up draw. And uh, I was caught. I was caught, I was double crossed and I was caught, like literally it was well annoying because basically fucking like oh, like I was just walking, like literally I was just walking I wasn't even smoking, like that's the peak thing about it I wasn't smoking, I was just walking and then there was like a uh, where are you going, like this is like the police patrols they were like, where are you going and I was like, um, I'm going for a walk to meet my friend and obviously that's like the classic excuse, the classic example. And uh, they were like, no, 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 stop here. They were like, get in the van. I was like, no, I'm not getting in the van. I live just there, I'm just staying here. And I was like, get in the van as we're gonna arrest you. I was like, what? So basically I called this guy who was like kind of in charge of this charity where we were staying. Like he was one of the bosses. And um, I was like, look, this is what's going on. Like the police are trying to bundle me into this van. And uh, yeah, like the police officer, yeah, he was the one that sold me the weed, like literally, they sold me weed, like I don't even give a fuck, like I'll louse it, like, I'll, tell, I'll tell everybody, like literally I'll louse it, but like, it was the copper, and then the copper decided, yeah, to then flip on me and be like, oh, I'm going to stop search you, it's like, what, what are you doing, like you know who I am, why would you do that, so that happened, and they're like just trying to earn a quick buck, so they were like, they'll get your money, and then they'll arrest you basically, so it was well peak, and I know, fair enough, you shouldn't buy you shouldn't buy weed from a fed like literally that's obviously 101 don't buy weed from a fed but i bought him off it like two times three times and he was completely fine like he was completely chilled like there was no issue no beef no drama so like i was like fuck it it's fine and then that happened so obviously there was like we've got a zero tolerance policy rah 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 so originally i thought i was getting deported but i wasn't that wasn't the case it was just a simple case of like uh, people just uh, they were just uh, they were just pissed that I'd broken their policies basically and their rules and shit so like yeah it's fucking really warm actually 20 there's not as much humidity but it's the same temperature but yeah anyway they was just like really pissed and that but obviously like I met this girl and uh, yeah, we've just been chilling and like kicking it. So I was like well upset because like, obviously I had to leave her and like I didn't want to leave her. And yeah, it's just bullshit. So I will be going back, but I'll just be going back on my own and I won't be attached to anything. And I'll just be traveling. I made a couple friends there, a couple links. So um, people that can take me out locally, show me around and that's it. But otherwise, like it's all good, like it's all good. I'm pleased to be here. I'm literally really pleased to be here. And uh, yeah, 
it's chilled like literally it's so chilled but like i say you can just freely you could just freely uh film and shit and like nobody's like i don't get me wrong people are looking but nobody's like stopping you nobody wants to rob you but it's nice <laughs> like literally they don't envy you because you've got a GoPro and think it's like a lump of gold. Don't get me wrong, GoPros are pretty sick, but like, yeah, you know what I mean? Sometimes they can just get a bit too much. So, um, yeah, I was really upset and I thought, fuck it. I'm going to go back to Amsterdam. I'm going to blaze up where I know I can definitely 100% blaze up and uh, going to go to some coffee shops, just chill out, relax, and yeah, take it from there. And that's basically what's going on at the moment. That is uh, basically the story as to what's happening in my life but uh yeah i keep fucking kicking the back of my uh, get catching the back of my uh catching the back of my heels but it's all chilled what i'm gonna do <laughs> you can smell the pong you can smell the pong of the marijuana You can smell the pong of the marijuana, but you can't be too amateur, like literally. I'm a professional, I've been here before. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm saying. But there's a guy just smoking, he's just blazing. Blazing, we're blazing, we're blazing. And Judge, I know it's so amazing. Give I this strength. But yeah, everyone is blazing. But yeah, it's all chilled, mate. Like, literally, it's all chilled. Now, I'm really pleased to be here. Really pleased to be here. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna have a shower because I need to have a shower. I've been traveling so much. Done an eight hour, done an eight and a half flight. And then I've just done another hour. So nine hours together in total with uh, maybe like a four hour layover. So I did have a gap in between, but still, Anyway, I'm gonna try and find this hotel. And uh, yeah, it's all good. Uh, it is all good. So pleased to be here. So, so pleased to be back. I knew I was coming back. I just wasn't sure when. But now I'm here, and yeah, it's all chilled. But it is all chilled. Anyway, stay blessed for now. So boom, fresh out the shower, mate. I literally, I found my room, and uh, yeah, there's a massive museum behind me, next to me, I mean. And you've got the Van Gogh Museum, just there, and then behind it, You've got the Banksy Museum, and yeah, it's pretty chill. It's pretty chill. I hope you're on good vibes, mate. I'm feeling blessed. Life is treating you well. I'm feeling good. I'm looking forward to coming out in the evening when it's a bit quieter. But at the moment, it's uh, quite warm, so everybody's out. <coughs> but uh, I'm pleased to be here, mate. I'm so pleased to be here. I'm gonna pick up draw. Like literally, I don't even have to fucking scout around for a dealer. Don't have to ask no weird people. You just go to the coffee shop, mate. Like literally, <coughs> it's all good. Like literally, it's all good. I'm feeling extremely pleased. Like literally, extremely, extremely pleased. <laughs> to be fair, remove the hoodie because I'm boiling. Like literally, I'm pretty warm. I do need to get some deodorant as well. <coughs> but I'm all good for now. But I will be needing to get some deodorant, eventually. But yeah, I'm pleased to be here. Really pleased to be here. And it's chilled, like literally. So chilled. That's where I was blazing those dude over there. On that bench, oh, the water's all dried up. There's normally water where they're standing, and it's all dried up. <laughs> huh. But 
yeah. I'm literally staying right opposite with these museums. So, yeah. Let's go down here. I hope you're on good vibes, mate. Hope you're staying blessed. Life is treating you well. But I'm feeling good. But I'm pleased to be here. I'm pleased to be able to share my journey with you and film. Because I've done so much, like, in the last couple of weeks. But I haven't been able to film it because everyone's scared of cameras. Whereas here, because it's a Western country, it's fine. You just film and that's it. Nobody gives a shit. But literally, it's, it's nice being a nobody, like I said. It's nice just being not the rich guy. Like, literally. Like, everyone just walks past you because you're a nobody. Like, it's great. <laughs> like, it's actually nice. Like, it's great. Like, you get on the tram, you get on the bus. Nobody notices you. And that's that. It's chilled. Like, literally. You're free to film. So, please just carry on walking. They don't look at you weird because you're filming. Like, it's just chilled, like, everyone's just relaxed. <laughs> oh, gosh. But I've had such an experience, mate. Like, literally such an experience. Like, Kenya was absolutely amazing. I mean, the flight back was, like, so long, but the actual experience, going there, and I had the four-hour gap to come here. So, yeah, it was really good. Like, really, really good. Like, I loved it. Loved every minute. Like, literally. Loved every minute. And I met some well sick people as well. Oh, literally. So yeah, it's all chilled. Oh, it's all chilled. They, uh, another thing is, I don't think you're allowed to step out in front of the tram. Here. Like, if you do, I think they'll fuck you up, like, literally. So you've got to be careful. Like, you've got to be careful. But yeah, it's all good. But it is all good. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling blessed and chilled. So I'm gonna head up to uh, you know what Burger King, mate. <laughs> oh, mate, I didn't have no Burger King when I was in Kenya, like whatsoever. I mean, don't get me wrong, I went there. I did go there, but um, yeah, I didn't buy it. Like literally, I didn't buy it because yeah, it was just well expensive. Like inflation, like inflation is like really high. <clears throat> I mean here is expensive as well because it's a tourist spot so yeah it's not much different but yeah it's not as pricey it's still not as pricey it's only like eight euros so yeah that tram is packed Ooh. I'm just glad to be walking I literally just walking about on the streets of Dan mate like literally this is a uh, Homstrat Homstrat, Hovenstrat, this street. <clears throat> everyone's on a bike, mate. Like, literally, everyone's on a bike. I love it. Like, I love it. Like, it's just chilled. So chilled. But yeah, I'm gonna get some food and then get some draw. Because, like I said, I haven't. Uh, I haven't, um, I haven't eaten or smoked since yesterday. So yeah, I need to get that sorted out. But otherwise, it's all chilled, mate. Like literally, it's all chilled. It's all good. I'm feeling blessed. Happy to be here <laughs> once again. And yeah, but like I said, it was just a bit of a stressful couple of 24 hours because like finding out I was having to leave the country and like that same day and then obviously, not being able to say goodbye like properly like in the way that I wanted to and uh, yeah like yeah it was just like a stressful couple of hours but like, literally it was just peak like literally so peak and I don't get attached to people I really don't like I really don't but this girl mate like literally oh my god like she's amazing like literally so I was kind of like her in fact, I'm still hurt, like literally, I really am. But it is what it is. But like I said, I will be going back. It's just a case of applying for a visa. And then uh, once I've done that, it's just a case of uh, going back over. So yeah, it's all chilled. But no, yeah, it may seem a bit weird and a bit crazy. That I've suddenly had a change of heart, but this girl, mate, trust me, 
she's worth it right? she's definitely worth it so yeah but yeah that's that it is what it is nothing I can do about it I mean there's plenty I can do but they just fucking they hide behind the old bill as well like it's just really annoying how the police just stitched me up like obviously that's what they was gonna do but like yeah it's just really annoying so like yeah I mean like it's just one of those things but like ah uh, I like set responsibility for smoking but it's just a fact of like yeah it's just bullshit and also now they're saying that like oh she could face legal charges and all this and it's like why like she wasn't even involved there was a police who gave it to me and the guards who were involved like that was it like i don't know why they're like properly going on and on and on about it like it just doesn't make sense but yeah either way it's all chilled like literally it is all chilled I need to get some food. Once I get some food in me, I'll be all good. Like, literally, I'll be all good. But until then, yeah, you just gotta, just gotta go with it, like, literally. You just gotta go with it. But yeah, steady on, old boy. Like, literally, he nearly tripped himself. I'm so glad I can walk from my hotel to town. So even if I stay out late, and I miss the tram or the bus. I can literally just walk and it's so flat, like literally it's so flat that you can just walk. I could even cycle if I got a bike. But literally I could cycle, which is an option. A bike is an option. I do have some extra money, but I kind of want to save that for food and draw should the moment arise. And then I've got another backup of maybe, um, I don't know, I've got a backup of about £100. But again, I'm trying to conserve and just like, yeah. So I've got another trip coming after this trip. This is just literally a mini break. I use this as a mini break just to, uh, I've got something in my eyes, making it water. I use this as a mini break just to clear my head. Just because I can blaze and it's just chilled and just like nobody gives a fuck. I can just walk through the street and blaze without. No, oh, why are you blazing? Why are you blazing? Oh, why are you smoking? It's like, oh, fuck off. But literally, it does my nothing. Like, it really does my nothing. But yeah, it's all good. Like, it's all good. But yeah, anyway, after that, I'm gonna. Uh, Get some drawer, as I said. I like, literally. But it's so chilled. I'm just so pleased to be here. Oh, after a stressful, stressful, stressful 24 hours, mate. I like, literally. A lot of upset and some tears. But, like I said, I'm pleased and I'm glad I've done it this way because, like I said, with that situation with the police officers, they could have eaten. I had, I was in possession of weed, so they could have taken me to prison. And that would have been it. I would have had to pay a ransom or a bail as they put it. But it's a ransom really because they'll just name a price and it goes to the officer. It doesn't go to the government. It's not like England where you have legal bail or legal charges. But they'll just say a random price and then that's what you, you have to pay. Anyway, that could have happened to me. So I'm glad that that didn't happen. And uh, yeah, but it's just bullshit how they're trying to drag her into it. And it's just like, oh my God, like literally, oh my God, why would you? Why would you try and drag her into it just because I wouldn't snitch? And like, I wouldn't say which guards it was and which copper it was. But like, literally it was a copper that stopped me. So if they watch this and find my channel, then yeah, obviously they're going to see it. But otherwise, like, yeah, it was the copper that sold it to me. So I don't know why they're, why they're like making a massive deal out of it when they already know what the police are like there. And they know that they're like that. And it's illegal. It's not like England where you say, oh, the police planted it. And like you're just saying it, like they actually do plant shit and they can do it and get away with it. That's how it is, like that's how it is a standard, like it's not a thing. So I'm not just lying and joking about it, it's actually a thing. Like literally, the police will sell you weed. Like literally. <clears throat> but yeah, anyway, it was a rookie mistake, a rookie mistake, a stupid rookie mistake, and yeah. But um I feel bad that I drag I dragged this girl into it, like literally. <clears throat> but yeah, 
I'm literally just walking, getting my bearings. But I know which uh, stop to get off at. I know which stop to get off at when I uh, go back if I get the train. Um, the train, the tram. So yeah, it's all good. Motherfucker, what is in my eye? But yeah, it's all good. But it is all good. But yeah, as I said, I go to the one and only Burger King. And uh, yeah, well, I might pick up draw and then go Burger King. So at least I've got draw. And yeah. Oh, motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. I didn't bring my tobacco. I mean, I could just smoke a blunt, but everyone just smoked blunts here, so it's not actually a thing, a bad thing. Oh my god. I was too fucking keen, mate. Like, literally, I was too keen. Oh, that's so fucking irritating. Like, literally, that's so irritating. Oh my god. Alright, okay, I'm gonna go to Burger King and then I'm gonna get some food and then, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to take it from there. But I'm still really pissed off. Like, I'm chilled and I'm pissed at the same time. Because of this fucking situation with this girl, like, they're just dragging her into it, like, they kicked me out of the country and it's like, well, why would you do that if you're still gonna carry it on? Like, what's the point? Like, I'm gone, just get over it. Like, it's only weed, like, Jesus. And I wasn't even smoking. Like, he just grabbed the tobacco cap out of my pocket and took all my GoPro and everything. And he just grabbed it out of my pocket. And, uh, yeah, and he just squeezed up the, the tobacco pouch. And it felt that there was like a little stick of weed in there. And that's what it was. Like, it wasn't even that I was blazing and walking. I was literally just walking down the street like I am now. Oh. And she's proper anti-weed as well. Like she doesn't smoke. She doesn't like weed. She doesn't drink. Like she's a proper like decent girl. Like if you can even say that about a girl. At least she, she's proper decent. So like how they're trying to put this all on her. And she was the one that was trying to convince me not to smoke and like, oh, I'll try and quit, like, you know, like, you'll be a better person and like, it'll be chill, which some of it is bullshit, because I like weed, <laughs> like, I do like weed, but she's nice, she tries, she really does try with me, but like, she tries so hard, and it's just like, why are you trying to fuck her up, like, why are you trying to destroy her for, like, why are you doing that, like, literally, why, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna, uh, uh, I'm gonna see where I am on the map because I've got a map now and uh, yeah I'll get some food I'm gonna stop fucking about and walking aimlessly because I need to go back and get the that tobacco as well which is fucking irritating that I didn't bring it out in the first place but yeah never mind anyway stay blessed for now Oh my way to Burger King mate, like literally, he's on his way and uh, yeah, it's all chill, I hope you're on good vibes, you're staying blessed, life is treating you well and yeah. <sighs> Only thing is, you gotta be quick when you're crossing the road. Otherwise, you're fucked. Like, literally. If you're not quick, you're fucked. Anyway, it's all good. It is all good. I'm gonna get some food and then I'm gonna head back, go and get my tobacco. It's a nice warm evening as well. Still, quite a lot of people out. I think it's gonna be a busy evening tonight, purely because the fact that the weather is nice. So, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll see about that. Hold on. I've got something in my shoe. 
piece of pebble. There we go. But yeah, get my food. And then, uh, here we go. Straight down here. I'm gonna get my food. My Burger King. I'm just gonna get burger and chips. And then, uh, I look for a drink as well. And, uh, yeah, take it from there. Once again, so pleased to be here. But I always knew I was coming back, but I just didn't know when. So it's nice that I've uh, come back. And uh, yeah, it's chilled. It's always a nice little pick me up when I come here. Like, it's always a nice pick me up. For a start, it's just a constant waft of weed, <laughs> literally. But yeah, it's always a nice pick me up. So uh, yeah, and Burger King is just up here on the left so yeah it's all chilled right here only thing is it looks pretty busy pretty busy oh no not too bad all right stay blessed for now got a nice quiet spot it's our burger thing Cheeseburger and chips, mate. And yeah. Ooh, that's fresh. Just been made hot. I'm so thirsty. So I wanted to just get the food first and then yeah. Drinks were quite expensive in here so I thought I'd cut down here as well. So warm in here. But yeah, it's all good. Slightly annoyed about my tobacco, but never mind. I can go back and get it. Not that big a deal. I'm gonna get a drink and yeah stay blessed for now so boom fucking 
We've got a nice patch of grass, mate. It's quiet, not too many people. And uh, yeah, there's a rat right there, <laughs> literally. But yeah, so I'm just gonna sit here and chill out. I'm literally right on this bench here. There's bunnies as well. Also got myself a strawberry Fanta. And I've got some hash, some car caramel hash. And uh, got some, uh, what did I get? Super, 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 super haze. So yeah. Here's the hash. Here's the weed. And yeah. It's all good. It is all good. I'm gonna roll a zoo. Chill out, relax, kick back, and yeah. But it's been a while because, as I said, when I was in Kenya, I was blazing up and uh, got caught. And yeah, everything went to shit from there, really. So yeah. But it's all good. Like I said, I'm coming here. Just to give the rest of the world a two fingers, mate. Because I can smoke here. Nobody looks at me weird. Like, the police are just fucking right there around the corner. There's some old bill on bikes, mate. On push bikes. Like, nobody looks at me weird. Nobody's, oh. It's just like, so what? You're smoking weed. Get up. Like, do you know what I mean? If I was, it, it makes me feel like it would be more acceptable for me to go out and mass murder people. And people be like, oh, okay, okay than just to smoke a joint mate it's so fucked up it really it, it really irritates me but uh yeah i'm gonna have my first zoo of the last 24 hours maybe even longer than that actually and yeah I bought some Rizzlers from England, so I didn't have to, uh, <laughs> so I didn't have to buy Rizzlers when I got here because they overpriced, mate, overpriced. Like this. I'm sure there's local shops, like local corner shops that you can go to and just get them cheap at normal price rather than just round here in the city centre. But yeah, it's all good. Also, if you pay attention, then you'll know my favourite drink. Fanta strawberry, mate. Although, in Kenya, they've got Fanta pineapple and Fanta blackcurrant, and it's well nice, like literally well nice. So I've been having that recently, but yeah. I'm gonna try the crow first. Just get some good good decent herb in me oh shit and then I'll try the hash after Decent weed, mate. Oh, actually, super silver haze, mate. Original from Dam. Oh, that taste. Just when you toke it straight off like that. It tastes amazing, like literally. Oh man. Now it's a case of trying to find a lighter. Here we go.
hope you're on good vibes, mate. You're staying blessed. Life is treating you well. But yeah. Ten, of course. I oh, literally, of course. Weed is weed, but when you come here, you just get spoiled. The genuine article, mate. Like, literally, the genuine article. Oh. Evie, 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 Evie. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right, but shout out. E V I. E V I. E E V E V E E E V. There's a user that keeps coming in. But say for all your positive feedback. Fuck me. This is Super Silver Haze, yeah, and I had this before I left England. I did have this, and this was the weed that I was picking up. Oh, mate. No exaggeration, mate. 10 out of 10. Like, literally, 10 out of 10. Not just because I'm in damn, mate. I promise you, I promise you, like, 10 out of 10. And I haven't, I've smoked, but I haven't smoked in like 24 hours, so first of the day, really. And like I said, it's been very stressful. So stressful, but I'm on good vibes, mate. I'm pleased to be here. At least I'm pleased to be here. Oh, mate, and strawberry thunder as well. I'm so glad to capture this moment. I can't say how pleased I am. I've been damned twice. <clears throat> This is going to be my little retreat, <clears throat> my retreat place. Just me chilling, relaxing, and yeah, taking it easy. Nobody gives a fuck, mate. I can't believe, I wasn't deported, I can't use the word deported because I wasn't deported. I thought I was going to be deported, but I wasn't. My placement was just cut because I smoked, that was it. <clears throat> but it's just the fact of like, I was at a guest house, yeah, like, and I had my own room and everything, like, I wasn't allowed my girl in there, but yeah. She did come in there and then she's in trouble for that as well because she came in my room. And yeah, like, oh my God, yeah, it's just fucking so peak at the moment. Like, literally, it's so peak. I never have peak times, but today is, like, today, like, the last couple of days has been so peak and it's just the fact of like, fucking, it's supposed to be like, right, fuck it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you, yeah? I'm going to be honest and open, like, it's supposed to be like a Christian organisation, right? And they're supposed to, they like, prop into prayers and shit, and like, the fucking the woman that runs it, yeah, she's like, oh, I shouldn't be saying this, I shouldn't be saying this at all, but the woman that runs it, yeah, she fucking, she fucking, they have something called devotion, yeah, where they pray, like, first Monday of each month, yeah, they pray and they like, fucking pray to God and shit, fine, whatever. So they pray, right? So they was doing prayers, and like, I was with my mate Felix, yeah, my boy Felix, and like, Felix was like, oh, I think there's devotion today. And I was like, really? And I was like, oh, I don't really want to go, like, it's kind of long. And he was like, okay. So we, like, missed, like, half of devotion, like, where they just, like, literally pray, like, they just pray for the whole organisation. And we was mentioned in their prayers, right? Our names are actually, the God prayer sheet. Our names are actually mentioned, like, mine and Felix's, and, like, fucking, oh, mate. <clears throat> the woman that runs it comes down and was like, oh, why are you not in devotion? Like, we're praying upstairs, come, 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 come. Felix, you have to come. Oh, you can stay if you want. She says this to me. And it's like, oh. so like, fine. So from then I knew something was off. Like I knew something was off. Like 
she was just being well weird. Anyway, fucking, she invited us up to Devotion. We went up to Devotion, and they mentioned our names. He was like, oh, peak. I looked at the sheet, I was like, look, our names are there. So, like, we went up to Devotion, they prayed for us, and, like, whatever. And then fucking, oh, like, we went out, like, me and Felix went into the office, like, we was pissing about watching computer, like, blah, blah. And then fucking, like, we had our hymn sheets out, and we was, like, flicking through on the date. Like, it's dated, so it was on that date. And then, um, like, fucking, we had our him sheets out, so if anyone walked in, we'd be like, we're having our own devotion. <laughs> and then fucking, like, um, the woman that runs it, she comes in and she, like, invites us in. She's like, oh, right, we're going to discuss the book. Like, we're supposed to discuss it, rah, rah, rah. Also, the guy, like, the, the guy that runs it, like, the guy that runs our section, like, is going to take you out. Like, you're going out into the field, la, la, la. It's all confirmed, da, 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 today. Like, it was today. And then fucking, like, like she invited us in this is yesterday she invited us into the office and fucking like she had done like the book reading all of this all of this all of this yeah and fucking like oh mate we finish it this is like a 40 minute session yeah and we've been in like devotion for like an hour like an hour and a half like it went on for ages like it's all morning like they do it from like seven till like fucking one mate it's all time prayer mate prayer 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 Sing a hymn, prayer, sing a hymn, prayer, him, 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 prayer. Anyway, fucking. We finish up here, yeah? reading of these books, like asking of what the questions mean and all of this. And then basically, um, fucking, like we went back into the office. Some woman comes down and was like, What's your passport bio? And I was like, What do you mean? She was like, What's your passport bio? And I was like, who wants to know? And then she was like, oh, someone upstairs, I'm not really sure. And I was like, uh, I don't know, like, I'll have a look. So I was like, that's well sketchy. So I was like, let me try and find out who. And then I was like, I went upstairs, go went up to go upstairs. And they was like, no, 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 she, she's not up there. And she was, she, they, they just lie, they're fucking army. Anyway, fucking go up there. And then fuck it, no I didn't go up there because she was like nah, so I was walking around and then this other guy yeah, who like kind of is like the boss, like he's not really but he is the boss, yeah he is the boss actually. So like he's like the boss, like kind of the boss, like there's other people that are bosses but yeah. So like I'm friends with him, like we're really close, like he takes me out for dinner and that, like we chat, like it's cool, I thought he was cool. And then fucking like, he tells me oh we need your passport, you're going home tonight. And I was like what? And he was like, yeah, you're going home tonight. And I was like, okay, can I ask why? And he was like, oh, well, yesterday, um, the police filed a security report for the area and it went to the district and then they sent it on to the office and then the office is now saying, you can't stay. Now, basically, yeah, they planned this from fucking six o'clock this morning, right? Six o'clock this morning, bearing in mind, I woke up at like seven because I was with my girl. Like, she works there. Like, she works in a canteen, that's how I met her. And then fucking, like, oh, mate. Like, I was chilling with her, and then fucking, I went out, and, like, they all saw me, and then I went back to bed for a little bit, and then I woke up at, like, eight. Anyway, fucking, or, like, nine, even. So, like, I went back into the office, yeah, and then, like, they was like, oh, yeah, where's your passport? Where's your passport? And I was like, so what? what's going on? So, anyway, yeah, so fucking, there was, like, they filed a security report, and the officers has gone home. But bearing in mind, yeah, they, they, that's what I was saying to you, they... They figured out at six in the morning, they didn't tell me until like fucking six in the evening, like literally. And I was like, you're going home at 11 o'clock, we're leaving at eight. So I had two hours with my girl, like bearing in mind, like we just started talking and like fucking, oh my God, like literally it was the worst feeling of my life. Like literally it was the worst feeling of my life. Like, and obviously I wanted to be there and I wanted to stay there and I like wanted to get a job there, I still do. And like fucking, like that was just fucking crushed. Like literally it was completely crushed. And like at first I thought I was going to be deported, like I thought I was going to get deported, but I wasn't deported. Like I just was, my placement was just cut and they just said, right, you've got to go. <laughs> but at first I thought it was the police, like the government had said, you've got to go. But it was just well fucked up because like the police officer that sold me the weed, like was the one that fucking stitched me up and stopped me and was like, what are you doing? Where's your papers? I was like, I don't have papers. Like literally I've just come out from a meal. Like the guy had taken me out for a meal. And I was like, I went back into the compound, so I didn't need papers because we was in an Uber, and the Uber took us there and dropped us back. So like, why would I need papers? So he was like, where's your papers? And I was like, oh, mate. And obviously I was going to meet my girl, and bearing in mind it's a secret because I'm not supposed to be like, having any relationships with anyone that's there because it's like proper strict and blah, blah, blah. 
Oh, mate, so basically I'm the rebel, like, literally, that was there, like, the rebel that they invited, like, the guy that came and just, like, corrupted everybody. But anyway, fucking... Like, yeah, they they called me a weed because they did, like, literally, like, and they was like, oh, I'm going to arrest you and all of this. I told you, like, literally, he was, like, threatening to arrest me and shit. And, like, oh, mate, it's just fucked up, mate. And they just took my tobacco and everything, my golden Virginia. They just took it and put it in their pocket. There was no fucking paperwork, nothing, no fucking, like, fair enough, he could have arrested me. And I'd be in a Kenyan jail, mate, for six months you get for weed. Like, if you're in a possession with weed, yeah, if you're selling, you get, like, ten years, but, like, or life or even murder but yeah if you're just like in possession like i was and i'm a foreigner like it'll be six months so i'll be six months in a kenyan jail so all now i've been a kenyan jail <laughs> so it's like you've got to go like you've got to leave rah rah, rah. <laughs> and yeah it was just peak mate like literally it was just so peak All these fucking aeroplanes, mate. I oh, literally, too many aeroplanes. Fuck me. It's doing me in. I oh, literally, it's fucking me up. My neck is killing me sitting in them fucking chairs. Fucking eight hours on a plane, mate. And then another hour on top of that. It's way too much, mate. Sorry for the uh, <clears throat> the moan, but yeah, this is reality. Like I'm well, like yeah, like I'm just like I never have peak times, and obviously I don't do like relationships for this exact same reason. But like, yeah, fucking oh mate, mate, she just came along. Like literally, she just came along. And she was just so nice, like. And it wasn't even the fact she was nice, it was just the fact that she was safe, like. And she's Kenyan as well, so like. She's brought up so different, like, so different. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, mate, I shouldn't be filming this. What the fuck? TCP, what's going on with you, brother? You're getting soft. I mean, I was never tough to begin with, but, you know, fuck me. Come on. Give me some credit. <sighs> it's getting a bit nippy, though. <laughs> I'm used to that fucking Kenyan weather, mate, like, literally.
a picked up draw, mate. <clears throat> a picked up draw. I'm so pleased to have picked up draw, mate. And got my strawberry fanta, mate. Cheers. Oh, mate. <clears throat> It's all good mate. Like what you, what are you saying? Like what are you what are you getting uh What are you getting soppy for? It's all good mate. I'm gonna walk this way and I'm gonna walk along the canal. But yeah, it's all good mate, what are you getting soppy for? But yeah, it's chilled. Oh, it's so chilled. With his beer. His special brew. No, literally. There's still bare people waiting. No, literally. Anyway. I hope you're on good vibes, you're staying blessed. Life is treating you well. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling blessed. <clears throat> I'm so pleased to be here, I can't explain. Kenya was amazing, like literally it was so amazing. Apart from that fucking black mambo. It's just what could have been mate, like literally what could have been. But yeah, Kenya was sick. It was just cut short. And uh, but that doesn't matter, like it doesn't matter, like literally, because I've been popping up here, there and everywhere recently, in terms of country wise. And uh, so cutting it short doesn't matter because I've done week here, week there, sometimes two months, sometimes not. But like, you know, like, yeah, it was just the fact of this girl, mate, like literally, oh, so stupid, like literally, it's so stupid. I don't know what's got into me. I really don't. I don't know where it came from. I generally haven't been interested. Like, if you follow the channel closely, like, I don't talk about girls. Like, why would I? Like, what's the point? Like, what? But this girl, mate, like, literally. Oh, oh dear. The beginning of the end. Would have started something new. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? But yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna take a walk. And uh <sighs> taking the sights. But yeah. I'm pretty chilled. Don't think I'm gonna go into town, I think I'm just gonna walk around the side streets. I'm not going to film because, yeah, for me, it's just a bit much, I literally, you don't know who's watching me, I literally, <laughs> like yeah you watch my videos but bearing in mind this goes out to the entire planet, I literally, so it's pretty sketch when you actually think about it, but fuck it, I'm real, I'm not ready to take on the world so don't fucking test me, but yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Look at all these bikes bro, literally, so many bikes, anyway yeah, stay blessed for now. Oh my god, look bro, look at this guy, <laughs> he's just lying in the road in front of the bus. <laughs> Why is he just lying in the road? He's just lying there, he's not moving. He's not saying nothing. He's just lying in front of the bus. Like, what the hell? <laughs> the driver's just not doing nothing. Here's the old Bill. The old Bill's here. 
they've come and he's just lying in the road like, wh why is he just lying in the road yeah, go away. <laughs> what the hell oh man <laughs> oh god <laughs> he's still just lying there like why <laughs> Oh mate, that's drugs. See, see, that's how the Kenyan police should be. Like literally, I want to go back to Kenya, yeah? But the police just need to chill out. Like literally, the police just need to chill out. Like, in Kenya, like literally. Like, this is a very good example for the rest of the world. Like, this place, like seriously. Whoa, there's a tram. I better wait. The car even knows to wait. But yeah, this is a good example, just nice and chill. If if that was the uh, the Kenyan police, on the other hand, they would have beat us all. <laughs> oh man, it's just so mean, like, literally, it's so mean. And I've only had one experience, like one experience. Like, oh. Anyway. It's all chilled. What the hell? Why was he just lying there? He was in protest, but in protest of what? Like, he hadn't been hit, but... Like, what was he in protest of? Like, that's so strange. Whoopsie. I thought they were stopping me then. Sketch. <clears throat> right, I was going on a walk, but then I got lost. So I thought, let me go up to that bus stop and see if a tram goes there. And then that's when I saw that guy waiting in the road, like lying in the road. So I was like, fuck it, let me just uh, start the video again. But no, yeah, that was jokes. <clears throat> oh man <laughs> that gave me a good laugh like literally I needed a good laugh like a really really good laugh <clears throat> anyway Stay blessed for now. I'm gonna try and walk through the park. But I'm gonna find it first. So yeah. So boom. I had one zoot mate. And that was me done. However, I do want to get some food because I'm quite peckish again. So yeah. I'm heading out on the tram because it's quicker than walking. Yeah. And yeah. Continue on. And yeah. On the 
the treatment. Late evening. I think it's around 11. Yeah, around 11, half 11. It's an hour ahead of the UK. One hour behind of Kenya. I love the tram, mate. So easy. Just hop on, hop off, tap your card, and that's it. No issues. No problems. No drama. Burger King mate, got myself uh, the King box which comes with a cheeseburger, some chips and some nuggets and a drink and also I've got the sauce complimentary as well. Stay blessed, stay lean, and peace.